What's going on everybody? Mr. Game is back for another drift build. This time we're in the 240. Um, obviously you can see the paint scheme is copied from Mighty Car Mods when they've done their 180. Um, obviously it's not the same car, but it's, it's very similar style and there's not much in it. Obviously the body shape's the same if I'm correct. They literally just changed a few bits. Um, the body kit is very similar to the one that they've used in the 180. I just love their build on this. The nickname for it was Tay Tay. Um, obviously I'm still using the TMX Frostmaster steering wheel with the T3PA pedals. Absolutely amazing little setup. I just need to get the handbrake and the shifter sorted which should be happening in the next couple of weeks. I will be doing a tutorial on the handbrake so anyone else can copy. I've found the handbrake I'm going to use. It's only about 27 quid and then I'll just need to get a sensor. I've got an old keyboard to use the circuit from to actually connect it up to the computer. Um, but obviously I will do a tutorial build on that. Right. Let's get on in here and go to the upgrades. Straight away, I definitely got rid of that stock engine. We have gone for the Skyline engine. We've gone for the 2.6. It had to be. It sounds absolutely amazing. It pops, it flames. It's, it's just a brilliant engine. But there is a hell of a lot of power in it. So as for engine upgrades, we've upgraded everything bar the turbos. The turbos I had to keep stock. As you can see, I did buy the sports and I did buy the race. I have tried them but it, it just spins out too much, it just takes the back end round. So we scrapped them off and we kept them to stock. Um, obviously if you want a bit of a slower, more controlled drift, take the power out a little bit. And obviously you'll see in a second that I've gone for, I can't remember what tyres we went for now, let's have a look. We went for the sport tyre compound. Maybe take them down to the street tyres if you take a little bit of power out, which will keep the rear wheels spinning enough to keep, keep you drifting. Um, we've gone for 19s on the fronts we have gone for stocks which are 205 35s and on the rears we went as wide as we could go we went for the 275 25s and then obviously like I said the wheels if you want if you want to copy these wheels which I've painted in a carbon effect um, obviously that's not everyone's taste that's just my taste uh, it should be in this one let's just get over here I think a lot of wheels suit this car, but these were the ones I went for, the C109s, okay? So if you want to copy them, that is them. They're in 19s, like I say. And as for everything else, is upgraded, okay? The body kit styling is down to you on what you want to do. Um, as for the tune that I've put into the car, I'll quickly show you here. On the tyres on the front, we've got 34 in the front. We've got 29 in the rear. Gearing, I have altered the gearing a little bit. Um, I've definitely altered the final drive and I definitely altered fourth gear because when you were getting into fourth gear it just wasn't given enough, enough oomph. So I have moved that, obviously you can copy the settings, you can see there in the little little gearing chart down on the left there that um, fourth gear is very short but it does work. Alignment, we've got 4.2 on the rear, uh, sorry the fronts, we've got 0 0.8 on the rears. The toe, I have adjusted the toe slightly, we've gone for a 0.5 on the front a minus 0.3 on the rears and we're going for a six degree angle again. Anti-roll bars, I don't think we really touched them but obviously if I have just copy the settings. Springs, same again, just copy the settings guys. I mean if this works for you it works. You might have to tweak it a little bit. The brakes I definitely have moved about. I've put the balance mainly to the rear and the pressure I did up. It just helps when you're, when you're trying to get it a bit more sideways and you're just trying to slow down a little bit. It doesn't doesn't make the car straighten up is what I've found. Um, acceleration, we've gone for 85% on the, on it. On acceleration we've gone for 85%, on deacceleration we've gone for 35%. Like I say, this is the tune-up that's working for me. You may need to tweak it a little bit, especially if you're using a controller, but this is what's working for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more. I'll see you next time.